All right, let's just talk about the Innovation Lab that you mentioned earlier today. In Beaverton, it will be a 125,000 square foot lab. You're going to be focused on 3D printing. Obviously, this is super cool. Mark, you are a design guy, a sneakerhead. But let's talk about selling sneakers and athletic apparel. Do you need to make this kind of very expensive investment and get into 3D printing to help your business to move the needle? Do you need to? Well, it is super cool. It is big. It's another pillar of innovation for Nike. I, I think the fact that we're going to actually have product creation uh, and manufacturing revolution taking place under one roof, uh, ex exploring and expanding the uh, uh, what work we've already done in 3D printing, for example, uh, customization, moving to the market quicker, new printing applications, uh, knitting machines to really create the future of fly knit. I mean, for me, you're right. I mean, we're an innovation company. We're all about product. That's how consumers vote every day. So this is going to turbocharge our already uh, incredible innovation efforts. And Mark, I, I am. I'm really, really excited about it. Are you going to move your office into the middle of the innovation lab? And am I going to be able to come visit? You'll be able to come visit. I'll be happy to show you around. Uh, I will be in that space uh, probably quite a bit. Uh, as, I, as I am today within the Sport Research Lab and our advanced R&D, our kitchen, I love spending time there. How about manufacturing? Yeah. We have talked in the past about bringing manufacturing back to the United States. Some of your competitors are very focused on it. The last time you and I sat down in Beaverton, President Obama was there and we were talking TPP. How about truly building, making your product here in a more significant way? Well, uh, we're, we're committed to uh, bringing U.S. manufacturing into the forefront. Uh, we think that if TPP can pass, and uh, we're hopeful that it will, that uh, we will accelerate our efforts around advanced manufacturing. Uh, it's all in service of the consumer, giving them a better product, faster, more customized, personalized product. Uh, so this will actually help us accelerate those efforts quite a bit, and, and we're hopeful. I want to talk for a moment about digital. You mentioned it. In terms of connected fitness, you got out of the fuel band space a year ago, and we've seen Fitbit go public and crush it. Are you going to change your attitude? It's not change your, change your strategy. Well, no. We, digital is, by the way, is, a, is one of the most important initiatives at Nike. Uh, we're investing heavily. Uh, we see this as a, an accelerator, an enabler of our business in every facet, really from product creation to how consumers connect with the brand to how we service uh, consumers around the world every day, every minute of every day, everywhere around the world. So we're, we're big, we're, we have scale, but we want to be personal, we want to be nimble. And digital is an enabler for that. You'll see it in product, you'll see it in new relationships that enable us to create uh, a broader ecosystem of services, personal services and products that uh, will be accessed from one mobile uh, point. That's when, a, you that's say goal. when you say relationships, do you mean your relationship with Apple? Relationships with Apple, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm actually excited about what we've done, what we're doing, what's in the works. We don't have anything to announce on that today. Uh, but really partnerships in general. If you look at the future potential to innovate, I think it's going to be largely based on our ability to make the right partnerships to work with teams that are really good at what they're doing and to add them to the teams we have to create things that people couldn't imagine. That's what excites me. Given your relationship with Apple, are you wearing an Apple Watch and do you consider that your wearable? I do. I wear an Apple Watch. Uh, I still wear a fuel band uh, and I'll continue to, you know, to do that. Uh, and I'm excited about where the Apple Watch is going. I know that uh, it's a huge priority for the company. We'll see that uh, uh, grow and, and uh, develop more and more. And, and Nike wants to be, and we will be, a part of that. That's our, that's our, uh, our goal. Mark, before yeah. we go, we got to talk women's. You know whether I work out or not, I am in my athleisure gear all the time. But it is a really competitive market. There are many startup brands that are sold exclusively to women. Where are you in that space right now? What is your game plan? Well, I think just to take a more macro view of that for a second, uh, we see this as not a fitness trend for women that's short term, uh, like a fashion trend. We see this as a lifestyle shift for women around the world. So we think active apparel 
and sport and performance-based active apparel will be here to stay for, for years to come. Uh, we're part of not only serving that consumer and that need, you know, that want, that desire, but we're also creating it. Uh, I think uh, we, we're bullish on women's in general. I will say that uh, we expect our women's business to double over the next five years. Uh, we're incredibly bullish on where we are today. We've made great strides, and uh, we think that's going to be one of the more important growth areas for the company uh, over this next period of, you know, three to five years. Then in terms of women and women's growth, where do you think that is going to come from? You're going to simply be pulling business away from the likes of Adidas or Under Armour, or it's more like an H&M, a Zara, a Bloomingdale's? You know, I think we're going we're gonna to take some market share out there. As, again, as the lifestyle shift uh, takes place in more countries around the world, but we're also going to create a larger market at the same time. Well, that's our goal: is to is to gain share and actually expand the market at the same time. All right. Uh, I Martin, feel before... really good about the performance product that we're creating. Oh. All right. Before we go, Mark, you're a style guy. Tell me, what's your number one favorite Nike product right now? Oh gosh. <laughs> I love them all, but for me, the whole family the of Find It is what gets the one. Oh gosh, uh, I really, you know, I like the Fly Knit Mercurial shoe. The uh, um, the soccer boot that we have is uh, incredible. I think it's uh, a game changer in the in the world of uh, soccer or global football, as we call it. Uh, that to me is a symbolic of you know the transformation of sport through design. Uh, so that that hap that's right up there for me.